Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. It is almost half past three. And just since about three o'clock was the first time I started doing any knitting. This is Belinda's cardigan I'm doing. Because I was working on the um the four phone pouches. I didn't think it would take me very long. I just had to do up the sides of them. Make the um I had already made all the chains for the um the strap. But I make three chains and then have to plait them. So I had to do that and plait the, all, all the chains and then put the poppers on. And it took me from about half ten this morning till about two o'clock. But I wasn't stopping till I finished them because I wanted to get over to the post office. So I had um, some patterns to post and I can't post them on my estate anymore because the post box has disappeared. For what reason, I don't know, but everybody must be going over to the post box at the post office because when I went to put mine in, I could I could have put my hand in and just helped myself to all the envelopes or I could see in the thing, but I put my hand in and I pressed them, pushed them down, flattened down a little bit. So I don't want anybody putting their hand in and pinching my uh, things that I'm putting in. So I don't know what's happened to the post box. It's been gone... Um, over a week now, whether something's happened, it's broke or something, and they've had to take it away, but they haven't brought one back to replace it yet. So if I have any, because my knitting patterns, I can just put them in an envelope and put a stamp on and post them into the, um, the post box, but I have to walk over to the post office now with them. There is another post box. But the distance I have to walk from my post, my post box on my estate, I might as well just walk straight over to the post office about the same distance, just in a different way. So I had to go over to the post office and by the time, well it was two o'clock, by the time I finished wrapping up the, the things I had to wrap up and writing out the... Um, the thing it was about quarter to three when I came back or oh, no it wasn't it was nearly three o'clock and I made myself a cup of tea and sorted things out down so I come out to do a bit knitting <laughs> so I'll be knitting this until probably until tea time I'll be having something quick for my tea because I might do a little bit of this one before I go out after I have my tea, because I'll have my tea, I'll be finished my tea about about half five, six, and I don't go out till I leave the house about quarter to seven, so I have a little bit of time to do some of this one for um, Val. But I will be putting my gloves on when my hands get itchy, because I don't want to doze off again. And I can manage okay with the, um, the gloves, so just a little bit slower. Not quite as fast as normal. Because of the gloves, you can't feel properly what you're, what you're doing, you know. But anyway, I'm going to stop this video and I'll show you. I made a little video to show you what the pouches, the phone pouches, look like when I had finished them. Well, that's the four pouches. Completely finished, ready to post off, which I will be going over to the post office shortly with them. Post them off to Alison. Fully lined too. <laughs> oh, I had fun and games putting the poppers on, uh, <laughs> trying to get them in the right place, but I managed eventually. And like I said in the video, I had a little bit of fun and games putting the poppers on. Because I bought some poppers, just some white ones from um, Timo. And I thought I'll try them out just to see how good they were. They were quite cheap. And I put the, the top one on. You use four pieces for each popper. You use two for the, um, 
the top part and two for the um, the bottom part and I put the first two in the top part but when I put the um, you get a little a little round run with a little spike on and you push that through the hole in the, um, the thing and then push the other piece on top and then you put the contraption the little thing I've got the little presser thing for to press the point down to flatten that point so that it goes inside the the other piece you put on that stops it coming off well I've done the first one only when I tried to, to shut it it wouldn't shut the the little round thing that has to go inside the little bit on the top it wouldn't go inside there and I thought well you know so Oh, it looks like I bought some rubbish again from Timo. But I tried the second one with the same ones again, and they worked all right. So I think I must have had the, when I put the, the little thing, you press it down. I'll get it and show you what you do. This thing here is like a little gun. You put the, see that's my finger, I'm not going to press it down on there, but that's my finger and you press, you put the, the material in with the, um, the popper on and that little thing, you press it down and it squashes the centre of that thing inside the, um, the popper and I think I must have just had it because I have to hold it with my finger like that when I put it on to keep the two pieces together. And I think I must have had it just a little bit off centre. And I think it squashed it out of shape. That's why it wouldn't go in. So there was nothing wrong because I used them on another one and it worked perfectly. So because I was calling Timo saying I've got some rubbish off Timo again. But it wasn't. It worked OK. <laughs> you know, these things <laughs> come to try me. my knitting up again and I messaged the um there was a young girl who I don't know whether she's a young girl or was just an old lady like me I don't know on AB this was yesterday when um she sent me the wrong circular needles size nine yeah When she sent me these size nine, which is she's got four fifty four five on there for four point five millimeter needles, and I sent her a message and I told her that size nine was old English size of three seventy five. I told her that I she didn't need to send me a pair because she wanted she was going to send me the the proper ones. I said they have to be number seven. 4.5 she was going to send me a free free pump back but i didn't like that because um i think well i'm still going to use these ones it's not as if i'm going to throw them away and they're no good so i didn't like her being out of pocket really that's the way it is the same with me i wouldn't like to be out of pocket on my shop and so i told her i was going to order ask her if she had the size seven for the 4.5 millimeter so if she did have them i'm going to order them again on ab but i won't be sending these back i'll keep them i'll just pay for the other the other one because i've decided i've got two because i ordered 4.5 from somewhere else on ab before i got these ones um which came from china and they sent the same size nine for 4.5 millimeter again so and that young girl told me the list she had with them, they said they were 4.5. And I told her, I says, well, they're not, not 4.5. I says, you need to update your list and put it right. I says, and if I was you, I'd get a, um, a needle gauge thing and te test all your other ones to make sure 
the right ones because she said she did have another message from someone else complaining about those same needles <laughs> so she thanked me anyway for um telling her about the mistake and um so i did order the 4.5 and then sent her a message to make sure she sends me number seven and but you know when i went on ab normally i use paypal to pay i use paypal anyway i can paypal you can't use that on AB anymore, they've dropped it. I tried three times to order those needles from that young girl, um, her shop's Julie something or other. I tried to order them and when I come to the checkout, it had the option PayPal and other, you know, card things and all that. And uh, when I went onto PayPal and it went through into my PayPal account and uh, my PayPal come up, but then a message come up on AB telling me to um, to use a different card. So I thought I'm not using a different card. I've got money. I put money into PayPal to pay for things like this so I don't have to, to use my card. So I just deleted it. I thought I'll try again. There must be something wrong. So I tried another two times and it wouldn't let me each time. And I had to change to... I actually had to put my card in at the finish. It was the only way I could get it. And then I did some research afterwards and I found out that um, AB have dropped PayPal. They're doing some other thing where you have to put your card in. And us sellers on AB, they've changed how they pay us as well. I used to get paid every, every week. It was once a week they paid me for anything they owed me for whatever I had sold on AB. And they used to be a Tuesday, every Tuesday they paid me. And then this message thing come up telling me that they won't be paying every week like we used to or monthly, whatever you have your, your things set at now. We have to apply for that money now, or you can keep it to use it to pay for things on AB. <laughs> and that really annoyed me. And I'm looking and I can't find anywhere on on it on my account how I apply how I ask them for my money <laughs> and this young girl when um, I messaged her about the um she had messaged me and told me that the um she had posted the the needles to me and um I had messaged back and had told her about the trouble I had with PayPal not being able to pay with PayPal and she didn't know about that and she says, but I'm, she's been talking about PayPal, she says, but I'm still trying to find out how to get my money from eBay. <laughs> and I messaged her back and I says, I've got the same trouble. I says, we must have to go through some process to, to find out. I says, if I find out, I'll let you know. And she says, if she finds out, she'll let me know. <laughs> well, what a carry on. Why can't they just leave things the way they were? I prefer PayPal, I paid most things. I think Amazon did the same thing. They dropped PayPal as well. I'm glad Timo uses PayPal because they have my PayPal account. I don't even have to go onto PayPal. When I order anything from Timo, it just automatically comes on pay off PayPal. But that's another rant. Don't want to get me started on another rant here. <laughs> but I'm doing what I can of this one for Belinda's until tea time and at least now I have my mornings free to start the next crochet thing which I think is Emma's I don't know I have my book here oh yes I have I know I took one of these books downstairs this morning but I think it was the one with the addresses in this is the one with my orders in Yes, I have Belinda's and Val's, what I'm doing. And then after Val's, done all those ones, all those ones. <laughs> mostly, mostly crochet, that's why I'm going down them. Oh, and the next one, after I finish these two cardigans, is my friend's. <laughs> she wants a 
34 inch blackberry stitch cardigan but the crochet ones the next crochet one to do will be ms which is a set of three yarn balls in blue would probably be blue and white because that's what i do i mix very thick white with different colors so i'll be mixing the white with the blue and a medium bag she has blue for that as well now i'll have to message emma because i'm not sure whether she wants the um the leather bottom on the bag or whether she just wants it all crocheted i'll have to message her that because i wasn't sure about that and then after that i have belinda wants another cardigan a pink one with cable and irish moss stitch and then jane wants a peg bag and then i have pat wants a blue and white blanket that i'm in the middle of and then another lady called carol wants two porn phone pouches then belinda wants another phone pouch so at least i can get on with the um the round balls and that they don't take the crochet things don't take as long as what the knitting does i can get them done a lot a lot quicker but i'll take something to um my bingo tonight i took one of the pouches i was doing the phone pouches i think i might start on one of the other phone pouches just while i'm at my bingo tonight because i don't want to take something big i just want something small so i'll start off one of the other phone pouches just while i'm at my bingo but when i'm at home i'll be doing the the ones like i said for emma So that's my little bit for today and you know it's been a lovely day today I've got my window open again but you know it is lovely the sun's shining but it's no warmer than it was yesterday and yesterday was 14 degrees today is 16 degrees this funny weather we are having I think aren't we but anyway I don't think I have anything else. I have nothing else to show you because I haven't done any other crochet things or anything like that, um, like the blanket or knitted the, the thing. But something I am going to show you. I have this. This was sent to me by Priscilla. I can never remember what she calls herself now, but she used to be a distinctive crochet. Um... I think she's distinctive handcrafted, something like that now. I'll have to check up on the, uh, the thing. But she sent me this quite some time ago with a, um, a bag as well. And this is for my needles. I keep all my zing in this, as you can see, there's still some of them in. But I'm going to put all my needles back in here because I've never touched any of those needles since I started with these with these type cutting these ones in half but if you'll notice why Priscilla picked this particular material they are bingo cards <laughs> but I am going to I have all my zing ones here I've never used any of these since I started cutting the cable ones in half I doubt whether I'll ever use them again. The only knitting needles, straight ones I actually use are little small ones like that when I do the little baby ones. I might even get some smaller cables, ones with smaller cables. So I think like one of these, so maybe the cable just comes to about here. I can put things on the end for knitting little because I do prefer knitting with these all together. Took me a long time to get used to to knitting with these these kind of things but once I did I haven't looked back so I'm going to put all my needles back in here in fact the young girl who I bought the needles off from um, AB she said she sold all her she loves those cable ones they are lovely needles to knit with as well but she said she sold all her expensive ones and all she uses is those ones now and that's the way it's going with me as well. I can't see me ever using these again. Because <laughs> once I started using them, they were getting on my nerves. 
I like where the needle, I'm holding the needles down here and the cables is hanging down instead of across my arms. But anyway, <laughs> that's it for today. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.